Hi, welcome to PR Tech Talk. Today I'm going to look at the STM32C0, ST's entry microcontroller. We are going to be looking at the printf and how to use it and uh, be working on the nuclear board. Sometimes it can be very helpful to have the printf to print out some statements and some status when you're doing some debugging. So please tag along and if you like the video please give a thumbs up and if you're not already a subscriber please consider to do so. So let's start. Okay, so to make a new project, we do as we always do. We download the latest version of STM32 IDE. And the version I have here today is 1.12.1. Uh, and besides having the software updated, we can always also uh, just make sure that the ST-Link, the debugger that we have with the development boards, are also up to date. So we, to do this, we go under Help. And we have a small menu called ST-Link Upgrade. Here it's, you see that it's detected the ST-Link V1. We can open it in update mode. And we just put upgrade and it will automatically upgrade it to the, the latest version, the same latest firmware. So now the, the interface is updated and uh, we have the latest firmware. Uh, we go with new. STM32 project. The board that we are using is the Nucleus C031 C6, and that is ST's uh, entry microcontroller. So now the target selection has started, and I know what development board I'm going to use, so I go with the board selector and I just here write Nucleo and I get all the various Nucleus boards, but uh, the one I'm having on the board is this one. Uh, we will ask for, uh, it asks for a project name. It's important not to make spaces, so when I have a space between demo and printf, I had an underscore, so it's there is no uh, real uh, blank space in the project name, then you will get some problems. Uh, I say no to this. Great, so now what we start with first of all is to go with the trace and the debug. And uh, we would like to have a debug, so we enabled the serial wire. That is what we need to do there. Uh, we also need a UART, so we go under USART. Uh, the USART 2 is the one that are connected to the ST-Link and connect to the uh, USB connector. So we enable a synchronous and uh, we don't have to do anything else uh, here. Everything else is correct. Just note it, the board rate. So you, we will have that one in the, in the, in our mind. We go under fa file, save all. Do you want to generate code? Yes, please. Uh, do you open uh, the associate perspective and uh, you see the perspective up here. So that is the different views that the clips are using. So in this case, we are now in the IOC uh, view uh, perspective, but then we can also go in the debug or in the C code. So yes, I would like to change that. So here we have the project. We can just build it to see that there are no errors. Now we need to in, include some software into this one. And to do this, uh, I'm going to first of all have a small integer, a small variable, because I'm going to make a small uh, a counter. So we put that one there, just an integer. We don't give it a value. And then we go down to uh, here. 
private functions prototype. And we do like this. So we define a, a function prototype name. You can call it whatever you want, but whatever you do, you need to remember what you call it because you need to uh, use the same name in the in the later state. And then we go down to user begin for. So it's the way down. user begin for there. There we will put the, the function that we just put the prototype to. So there you have that name that I, I wrote in the earlier earlier and it was print to print F to UART. And uh, that's done. So that is all that we actually need to do. Now we, we can use the, the printf function. So now we can go up to our main, main loop. And in our main loop, we have our while one loop here. So if we just want to make use of the printf, We just use printf hi from stm32c0 new line and return and then we have a small delay on 1000 milliseconds okay so now we try to debug it uh, we go with the debug configurations and we right click under this application we run new we get this debugger auto start local gdb server and uh, we are using the ST-Link. We can see if it verifies that there is a uh, ST-Link and we can read out the serial number. So we apply and debug. Waiting for the debugger connection. Software downloaded successfully. Okay, so here we see the debugger screen, uh, per debugger perspective. We have that small icon fill in it in this right upper corner here. And uh, up uh, in the right corner, I have the small TerraTerm uh, window and we see the board as well. And um, that LED is just indicating that there is a communication to the ST-Link. There will actually be no visible activity activity on the board at, at such. But when we now run the application, we will see the output from the uh, TerraTerm and it says hi from STM32C0. And that is what it does. It says printf and uh, new line and new return. And then it waits for one second and then it goes back and just loops forever. But we can build upon it. So if we close the, the debugging and we change back to the code perspective up here, we can now build upon the software that we have. So I just uh, wrote a small loop. So this is a small for loop, so it uh, gives the integer a value of 1, and then it looks if the integer is uh, smaller than 11, then it continue, continues and uh, it increments the value by uh, 1 each time. So what it does, it, it print f and it print the, uh, the integer. So we will see row 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. till we get to 10 and then it will uh, get out of this loop. And uh, there is a small delay also so we actually can see, uh, otherwise it will be so fast that we can't see what's happening. 
and then we clear the screen uh, from data and uh, we put some new lines and a small delay again and we need to also close it otherwise we will get some errors so we try to compile this and that didn't work very good so where is the problem ah the parenthesis was down there Okay, looks better. Now we can just put on the debug immediately because uh, it it has already been launched once, so it knows what to do. So now we come to here and uh, it stopped. So we need to uh, launch the uh, resume the debugging again. So now we will see that all the information in the terror term is now. So now it's deleted and it starts over again. Sometimes it can be uh, more useful to not have a scrolling text. So that is the reason I put this loop to also integrate some, uh, not only strings, but uh, also some uh, variables, some data that you can actually put out on the, on the Terra term. And you can use the patty or you can use the internal uh, debug window that is available within the STM32 cube. Great, so we can stop this. Okay, so now this small demo on the printf, how to use a printf with the STM32 cube IDE, and in this case also the STM32C0 family. You can use it on, on every STM32 Mac controller you want, so um, you don't have to uh, do anything else there. If you liked the video, I would really so like if you uh, give it a thumbs up, and, uh, and if you're not a subscriber, please consider to do so. And if there is anything else that you would like to discuss with me or something like that, uh, give it uh, some comment down below. I would really appreciate it. Hope to see you soon, and stay safe!